I am recording this episode of The Context the day that uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. And you'll be watching it approximately uh, a week later, um, the earliest, and then months or years later, if uh, you will be interested still. I don't know what will happen over the course of the next few days, but what is guaranteed is that there will be a lot of confusion and our ability to make sense uh, of the world will also depend on the kind of tools and filters that we use in order to interpret the inter information that we receive. My name is David Orban and this is The Context. We have the ability to uh, receive and absorb, interpret information from a wide variety of sources to a degree that uh, probably uh, hasn't happened before. Uh, we have um, very many television channels, uh, YouTube channels and other uh, video content online. Uh, we have, of course, uh, journalistic uh, sources, but we also have crowdsourced uh, intelligence information that is coming from uh, people on the ground or who are analyzing electronic sources of information, satellite images even, uh, in order to aggregate and give a picture of uh, what is happening, especially in uh, tumultuous, tragic times like what we are witnessing these days, the invasion of Ukraine by Russia. However, most of us are not equipped uh, with the tools that enable uh, the correct aggregation and synthesis of that information. In the past, uh, we would rely on uh, professional journalists to definitively complete this kind of important and valuable task. However, over the course of the past uh, 10 years or so, many people have started to look at the work of journalists as not only uh, chronicling what is happening in an objective manner, but interpreting and giving a slant uh, to that chronicle, expressing their own point of view or the point of view of their editorial board, sometimes itself uh, driven by a political aim. That is, uh, at least in part, the source of a degree of mistrust that an increasing number of people have towards official sanction or even previously prestigious authoritative sources of information. However, this is definitely a paradox. Drinking from the fire hose of information is beyond our human individual capacity and we don't trust uh, the interpretation and aggregation uh, of the news by the professionals. What is the solution then? Max Tegmark uh, at uh, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the MIT, uh, is actually uh, conducting a, a research program in search of a solution. And uh, his group, uh, uh, put together an application that uh, you can also start uh, using. Uh, it is called Improve the News, and you can find it on improvethenews.org. On Improve the News, you have uh, sliders available that you can um, actively engage with in order to get exposed uh, to 
uh, news sources that uh, are not only uh, corresponding to your points of view, but also the points of view of people who you disagree with. And you can do it uh, progressively uh, under your own control. And there is research demonstrating that this is actually desirable, that rather than um, giving us refuge, uh, further retreating uh, in our echo chamber away from different points of view, this kind of environment where you are in charge allows people to explore and experiment more. And the effect of being exposed to these alternative points of view is that of becoming less polarized, of being able to understand better in a broader context what is going on. As of today, of course, uh, the um, homepage of improvethenews.org is dominated by information about Ukraine. And you can read um, summaries of articles and what is going on, the facts, together with pro-Russian and anti-Russian descriptions, as well as uh, a nerdy addendum, which links you to another very, very interesting uh, website called Metacolus that is uh, able to uh, provide you with another kind of interactivity where you can actually express uh, your view uh, of the probability of certain outcomes of uh, future events. Uh, just a couple of days ago, for example, uh, the question was, will Russia uh, invade Ukraine? And I voted yes with a probability of 60%. And as of today, that question has resolved uh, positively. Russia indeed invaded. You can go to Metaculus uh, to check what are the open questions, uh, how the dynamically adjusting outcome in this prediction market is uh, evolving uh, around various uh, open questions still, both uh, about the Ukrainian conflict as well as uh, other uh, interesting things. So understanding that we are individually biased and that our various sources are also unavoidably biased should not reduce us to a paralyzed position of skepticism uh, and uh, instead it can be substituted by a more proactive stance with the help of innovative tools like improve the news. I invite you to experiment with these tools, to use them, to see what are the different points of view that you can explore why you disagree with them, if they represent any glimpse of information that you can actually incorporate uh, in your worldview and leverage for future decisions. This is an important process, revising your assumptions based on new uh, information in order to update your predictions around what is going to happen. It is the so-called Bayesian process of uh, updating your priors. Uh, and there are mathematical uh, foundations to the process that research projects are uh, leveraging. We often complain about how social media algorithms um, in general, technology platforms manipulate us. Well, 
uh, we can take things in our own hands. Every time uh, you hide a post or you dislike a YouTube video, you are taking uh, things in your own hands because you are telling the algorithm your own preferences. But with platforms like improvethenews.org, you are taking a step further. You are actively shaping the kind of information that you will receive and exploring the boundaries of your own adaptability as you are exposed to different points of view. We will see what will happen over the course of the next few days and weeks. I hope that the rule of law will be re-established, that the Russian troops will retreat um, and uh, respect Ukraine's sovereignty. I hope that uh, there will be as few casualties as possible. And we will see. But in the meantime, we have to be alert and we have to be informed in these coming days of certainly uh, many, uh, many reasons and sources of confusion. Thank you.